the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, fame, fame. What up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro jumping back in the Planet Crafter. All right, guys, today we got some good loot. We got some good secrets. We got some things you may have missed or have been looking for in this episode. So if you use this and it helps you, hit that like button, subscribe, hit me in that comment box, and share this so others can check this out, guys. All right. Now, if you've been looking for gold crates or other secrets, I'm going to show you what I found so far up to this date. If I find more, I'll let you know. But this is what I found so far, all right? Shout out to my man, Metal Fire Game Time. Go check out his channel. He helped me find some of these, and I'll let you know which ones, all right? Let's go. Now, for our first gold crate, when you come out the starter pod, what you want to do is bust a left this way. You see that little canyon? You want to go this way and go directly straight, kind of towards this tip. And I'm going to show you where this gold crate is. We're going to do it all the way. I'm going to show you, all right? And shout out to my man, Metal Fire Game Time. Go check out his channel. He showed me this gold crate, this one I missed, all right? So you keep going ahead and straight over this way, okay? You know, zip around, dip around. And this is actually the area where you can go to start uh, exploring some new areas. Up through here, you come on over, head directly towards uh, the mountainside and turn right. And just keep going over these dips and these canyons right here. And bam, right there, we got a gold crate. Ooh, look at that, golden seed, 600 multiplier. You got iridium, uranium, iridium. It may be different things in your spine. I don't know if it's always the same or it's different, but that's our first gold crate. And again, if you wanna see where I'm at, looking at that direction, there is the starter pod. There is the wreckage up there on the mountain. So you could come down from the wreckage on the mountain and go this way. You could come from the starter pod in this direction. Or if you're coming from this area over that way. And it's also right beside the valley. Just keep coming up over and you'll find that crate. All right, now for our next one, we actually want to head up here to the big wreckage on top of the hill. And once again, shout out to Metal Fire. Yo, he found a couple of these. Now what you wanna do on the second one, you wanna head up the hill and you want to go to this wreckage. Now when you get to the wreckage, you wanna go around the back. It really helps if you have the jetpack. If you don't have the jetpack, it's gonna be a little more difficult to get up here to the top, but you'll just need to go all the way to the back and climb to the rear of this mountain, to the rear side of the ship, and then jump on up here this way. Having the jetpack makes it a little easier, but it's not impossible to get up here, okay? So you come on down the ship, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you wanna zip on around and bam, you got the gold crate right there. Look at that, look at that. Yo, another 600 multiplier, super alloy, uranium, iridium. Most of the golden uh, chests that I found seem to have uranium and iridium in them. They might have the super alloy and the 600% boost, all right? And, and again, it's on top of this wreckage right by the area that you have to melt on top of the mountain, all right? So now we're gonna check out our third crate that I have found. Let's keep it moving and grooving, all right? Let's go. To find the next gold crate, you're gonna wanna leave your starter pod and go immediately behind it. Face this rock formation right here and head directly towards that. It'll be southeast if you have the compass, right in between the east and the south. The Where we're heading is towards the aluminum fields or the aluminum area. So if you know where the aluminum fields are, it'll be much easier to get there. But this is the way. If you keep going this way, you see the aluminum area right there. It's actually very close. Now what you'll do, if you head over this way towards the aluminum fields, we're gonna cross over a little gap, a little valley, all right? Look at the way the rock formations look right here. Now, if you come, this is a little area that you have to hop over. If you come down here and bam, go under this rock, boom, right there. Another gold one, look at that. And it has another golden effigy, an iridium rise, super alloy, uh, the golden seed, the seed nona. Let me know if what's in your crate is different. Does it spawn differently or is it all the same, all right? 
that one's right under here. And you can look down at the bottom at the coordinates. The coordinates are kind of weird. That's why I'm not going after the coordinates or showing the coordinates. I'm showing you directly where they're at. Now the next golden crate is in the aluminum area, which is very close to the last one that we showed you, but you have to come all the way around. If you come on the side where you see this planet or what looks like a planet or a moon with the two moons in between this kind of canyon area and you turn around and you see this blue crate right here. All right, if you see this blue crate, go right in this direction, turn left. Also, you see the ship, the crash wreckage ship in the aluminum area is right there. Go to the left and right here, tucked in the cut, boom, is another golden crate. Open it up, golden effigy, uranium rod, iridium, super alloy, uh, golden sea. Again, let me know if your spines are the same or if everything is different, all right? Now, these are the golden chests that I found so far. If you found any others, let me know in the comments. Now, I found a couple other secret places, all right? It's not necessarily a golden chest. But when you explore it, it has a lot of great loot and it's very secret, all right? Now, if you leave from the golden chest, go up this way and we're gonna climb up this hill. This is a great place to put a base. It's a little far out, but it's a great place because it's in between a lot of really good loot, all right? Come to this satellite looking wreckage that's right behind the aluminum fields. The aluminum fields are over this way. So if you can see the aluminum fields, they're right in this direction and you come up the hill, all right? Come up the hill past the aluminum. You also see that crate looking ship thing over there. Come all the way up, all right? And come this way. It's to the south, uh, due south, southwest-ish area. Come around these rocks in this direction, okay? Now the way to know you're going the right way is if you go this way and you'll see this wreckage down here, that's a wreckage that you actually can open. It has a good little secret to it too. Come up this way and come to the left. Look towards that planet, face that planet. You'll see this rock that looks a little out of place. Um, it's very centered in this little canyon. You come down into this canyon and look down at the bottom if you wanna see the coordinates. Again, the coordinates are a little weird, I don't use them. Come down this canyon and bam, you'll come around behind this rock and you'll see this piece of a shipwreckage. Click on it. You need a light. You need a light. You come down here and look at this. There's a food grower. Look at these things right here. Look at all of that. All right, it's a couple veg tubes. There's a message right here that you can read. And look at this locker. Boom, look at what's all in this locker. All these seeds ones with multipliers. You got each kind of plant except for mushrooms. Uranium rise, iridium rise, super alloy. Yo, look at all this, some really, really good loot in here. Bam, I'm gonna go on and take that with me. All right, this is another cool secret area. Now you can't break down any of this and take it with you. I thought you could, but you can deconstruct the storage locker if you need a like locker. Uh, other than that, most of the stuff you cannot break down, but this is a really cool secret area that you can discover, all right? Now, if we leave this secret area and we go up, you basically wanna keep going south. There's one more area. Go up this way, now that's barren. If you don't see any resources, stay away from it uh, because there's nothing out there. So we're gonna go this way, which is due west if you have your compass. If you look at your mountain, just have that mountain on that side. You'll see the moon there. Uh, you'll see these different little rock formations. And you wanna just keep going as far as you can in this direction. All right, we're gonna keep going. And as long as you're seeing resources, you're good. This is another cool area, all right? And we wanna keep heading southwest. Keep heading southwest, all right? We'll go over these mountains, up into the valley. A lot of this I just found exploring, going as far as I could uh, to the edges of every area. So we're gonna keep going. Again, and it's great if you have the jetpack. If you don't, it's gonna be a much slow. The first time I found all this, it was a lot slower. 
All right, but check this out. Boom, more plant life, mushroom seeds, bean seeds, Tusca multiplier. We got aluminum. All right, we come on over here. This is also, look at this, bam. Storage crate, more plants, more seeds. Again, great if you're exploring. All right, and then, I mean, we even have a couple <laughs> drills sitting out here. But this is the one we're looking for. Okay, now there is one more storage. All right, boom. Look at that. Look at all these super alloys, the bioplastic nuggets. Yo, great loot right here. Great loot. Let me drink some water so I can make a spot for some of these super alloys. Um, I should eat something too. All right. All that, but look, here's another underground one. Boom. Make sure you have your light on. Check that out. What's in this crate right here? Look at that uranium rise, iridium. No, no. There's a message here. All right, but look, then there's another floor. Boom, you go down to the next floor. Look at these, those are those grow pods. Can we get through here? You have to actually have your deconstruct so you can break down the doors. All right, more of your grow pods. We got to get through here. Look, the rocks are kind of in our way. Uh, okay, let me take some oxygen. Let me take this rock. Another message. All right, we want to go down another level. Look at that. Look at that. We go down to the bottom level. Look at this. Woo, look at all this stuff up in Yeah, We got explosive powder. All right. Look at what all up is in here. All right, a seed lerma. Another message. Okay, you go through here. Again, you got to break down the doors. So you have to be able to pick these up, which is kind of jacked up. The other way is the same thing. There are more doors on this side also. And the tunnel continues to go down. So we're gonna go down this one. This is a super secret right here, guys. There is a lot to this one. And you gotta make sure you have enough air. And again, this will block your path. So we can pick these up and keep going. Look at that. We can deconstruct that too. Look at this. Yo, look at all of this, guys. All of these are messages you can read. What well, is all the same message though? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna take this chip. Let's see what's down here. Boom, look at this rocket engines in this one, guys. If you're early and you're looking for rocket engines that you can use to make your jetpack or to, blow, to uh, launch rockets, you got them all right here. Look at that, osmium, fertilizer, little bit of everything up in here. A lot of great loot, a lot of great loot. And we're gonna go to that other side. My oxygen is low. So we're gonna try to make it and I'm gonna come back and just clean out everything later, of course. All right, so. I got one more oxygen and I may perish trying to get back. All right, let's pick this iron up. Let's drop it and let's pick this one up. All right, boom. Look at this, more crates. Look at this, more loot. Another rocket, squash seeds, iridium, sulfur, sulfur, cobalt, super. Look at that, look at that. Super alloy. This is one of the best wreckages in the game. When you get the ability to travel further, make sure you come here and you get this loot. A lot of great loot, a lot of great things you can take back. Just make sure you have the oxygen for the trip because it can get a little dangerous, all right? So I'm gonna climb back up. We're gonna get up out of here. Guys, these are all of the secrets that I found. Let me know if there are other things. Now, there are other wreckages I found. Don't get me wrong, there are other wreckages. And if you're watching my series, go check out the series, guys. Go check out the series. And I've been finding and showing wreckages throughout the course. But these are the ones that were the biggest secret. They had the best loot. Everything in this uh, episode is gold crate style loot, guys, all right? So go find all of these. And if you're early game and you really explore and go look for these, it'll really help you out because this is very valuable loot that you can use to craft things that you may have not been able to find in abundance yet, all right? So let me know in the comment box again, is there any other places 
Let me know coordinates or show me in a video. You can come through the Discord. Shout out to Metal Fire Game Time again for the help on those gold crates that I had missed. And if there are other gold crates that I haven't discovered yet, I'm sure there are. Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, send me coordinates. Uh, just explain it if you know where. Or just send me some video. If you got a video, if you want to share it to my Discord, let me know, guys. All right. So there we go, a lot of great loot. Going back to the old base before I travel to the new to get my oxygen. So yes, guys, so there are a lot of great secrets in this game. The devs did really well with it. I am enjoying this game so much. Like this is becoming one of the favorites. This is one that's on the list of games you have to play. Definitely gonna do a top 10. Definitely gonna do reasons why. Definitely gonna do more tips and tricks. This is a great game. You'll really enjoy this game if you like exploration, if you like the survival elements, and you like a game where the developers really thought out the mechanics, the systems, and your goals, and are really reaching it to every level of the game. This game is basic. I'm happy with this game. It's only $20 right now. If I spent 20 on this, I would be very happy with the amount that's in this game, and it's technically early access. But just going through all of the tiers, the levels, and getting to the end game, with what you have in it right now, with what it looks as going into the end game, this game is great. I would be totally pleased with what I spent on this game, guys, all right? But again, that's it, guys. Let me know what you found, and any tips, any info is always appreciated, guys. Charles Macro, Planet Crafter, thank you for stopping through, and I'm a holla at you. Peace. I run the game, I run the game, I run the, I run the macro my name. I do this for the love, they love money and the fame, 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 fame.